Hi, I'm Corey Rich, Nikon Ambassador. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pair the Nikon Key Mission 360 with your iPhone or iPad. We'll take a tour of the SnapBridge 360-170 app, and I'll also explain what you need to know about both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. I'll show you how to shoot and control the Key Mission 360 remotely from your device. Remember, this video is specifically for users of the iPhone and the iPad. The first time you turn on the Key Mission 360, the two green status lights on top of the camera will start flashing. This indicates that the camera is in standby pairing mode. First make sure your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled on your device. Simply go to your device settings, click on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and make sure they're both on. Now open up the SnapBridge 360-170 app. When your camera appears on the screen, select it and the Bluetooth pairing will begin. Once the camera and your device are paired, you'll be taken to the Connect screen on the app. Notice at the top of the screen, there's a Bluetooth icon. This indicates that your device is paired. There's also a battery symbol here, which indicates the camera battery's state of charge. Below we can see three other settings on the Connect screen. Auto download allows us to choose to have all still images automatically sent to your phone or device. When you enable auto-download, you can also choose to save those images as two megapixel files. Upload location embeds GPS data gathered from your device within files taken with your Key Mission camera. Likewise, Synchronize Clock automatically sets the camera's clock to your phone's clock. This is great if you're shooting in different time zones and want to automatically keep the file's metadata accurate. Notice at the bottom of the app screen, there are four tabs, Connect, Gallery, Camera, and Other. We just explored Connect, now let's check out Gallery. Under the Gallery tab, you can view your latest downloads. I haven't downloaded any 360 content yet, which is why we see a blank screen with some instructions. The Camera tab is the powerhouse of the SnapBridge 360-170 app. This is where you'll be able to control your camera, change its settings, and download stills and video that you've shot onto your smart device. Remote photography allows you to see a real-time view of what your camera is seeing. You can also shoot stills and record video directly from this camera interface. Download selected pictures allows you to choose still or video files recorded to your camera's SD card and download them directly onto your smart device. These photos and videos will be stored in an internal library on your device. Camera settings has a whole host of settings to play with. Date and time, the brightness of your LEDs on the camera, the sound your camera makes, and image settings is where you can change resolution for both stills and video, white balance and exposure compensation. Finally, if you want to pair a Nikon ML L6 accessory remote control to your camera, you can do that under remote options. The Nikon ML L6 is available separately. The other tab gives you a few more options. You can automatically add credits to pictures downloaded to your device. You can sign into your Nikon ID and also find more information about this app as well as other updates from Nikon. The SnapBridge 360-170 app uses both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to communicate with the Key Mission camera. Bluetooth provides a constant communication between camera and phone. Wi-Fi is needed to use the remote photography function and to download videos. Why Wi-Fi? These operations are simply more data intensive and they need a more powerful signal, which is only possible through Wi-Fi connected between the camera and your device. To conserve battery power, the camera will automatically select between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth depending on the function being used. Let's go back to the camera tab and dive into how to operate the Key Mission camera using the remote photography live view screen. When I click on remote photography, my device asks me to connect to my Wi-Fi in my iPhone's settings. After selecting Go, I'm taken to the SnapBridge app's settings page within the main settings on my iOS device. From here, I have to navigate back to my Wi-Fi settings page. I click back, scroll up, and select Wi-Fi. 
Now I select the wireless network for the camera, which is indicated with the name KM360, followed by the serial number of the camera. Here I'm prompted to enter a password. All the key mission cameras are initially set with the same password, which is Nikon Key Mission, all one word with an uppercase N, K, and M. You can enter this password or change the password from within the app to make it more secure. And I'll let you know how to do that a little later in this video. Now return to the SnapBridge app and go to the Camera tab and select Remote Photography to enter Live View. This is cool. In Live View, I can pan through all 360 degrees. This view is a low resolution live view of what the camera is viewing. It's not indicative of the video quality of the camera. Basically, I can see on my screen everything that the camera sees. On the bottom left, I can shoot stills. The red button in the center allows me to start and stop recording 360 video. And at the bottom right is a shortcut to my camera settings. If I shoot a still, there's a history bar beneath the screen where I can view all of my recently shot images. Now I'll show you how to change the Wi-Fi password within the SnapBridge 360 170 app. Go to the Camera tab and choose Camera Settings. Now select the Network menu and choose Wi-Fi. Choose Network Settings and then Password. Here you can enter a new password for your Wi-Fi network. You cannot change your password if you're already connected to your camera's Wi-Fi network. If you want to change the password, you need to be on Bluetooth only. So turn off your phone's Wi-Fi and then enter a new password. Once it's entered, you can turn your phone's Wi-Fi back on and reconnect to the camera's Wi-Fi network using the new password. You'll only ever need to enter the Wi-Fi password once, so we recommend taking the time to go through this process. With the SnapBridge app on iOS, every time you want to use remote photography or download videos onto your device, in other words, any time you'll need to use the Wi-Fi, you'll have to reconnect your device to your camera's wireless network. Once you have these settings installed and you get familiar with using the SnapBridge 360 170 app, it gets a whole lot easier. It's useful to know how to stop pairing your device and your key mission camera, as well as how to repair, in other words, how to reconnect the two. To end pairing, navigate to the Connect screen. Click on the center Bluetooth icon. Choose End Pairing. Click Yes. Now go to your device's main settings. Choose the Bluetooth menu. Scroll down to Key Mission Device and tap the blue information icon on the right. Now choose Forget Device. Now you've ended the pairing between your device and the camera. To pair your device to the camera again, you need to set the camera back into pairing standby mode. Press and hold the video record button for roughly seven seconds until you see the two blinking green lights. Soon the lights will begin alternating. The camera is now ready to be paired with the device.